It's your boy, Scooter Boo Maxwell from Memphis, Tennessee, Orange Mound to be exact. The first step that made me act in my career was one of my homies told me I need to start recording some of these freestyle styles because we used to have fun talk about freestyle, but a lot of mine was like real, just like experiences that I would talk about. And then like the homies that didn't know me to that point, they were like, yo, did that really happen? I was like, yeah, they did, they did. They were like, yo, you should probably record some of this stuff and put it out there. So you got a voice, like literally the sound of your voice is pretty unique and everything. You got an accent, it's a D, but it makes, it's, a, it's a feeling you put behind when, you, when you're doing this. So that was really my first step and be like, all right, I can do it. Let's go ahead and move forward with this. So a big influence, uh, even though I am from the South, I'm from Memphis, I love Jay-Z, hands down, and Nas. Um, I love the storytelling of Nas, how he's able to, almost like a movie, put you in the scene, put you in the movie so you can see it and feel it. Jay-Z, more of, uh, you know, the realistic, like you was in his shoes as he's telling the stories. I mean, like when he go through and describing, uh, even on uh, H to the Izzo, that's a story right there that he's telling. Even though it's a single, everybody knows. You go back and listen to it. He's very detailed about what he's saying. So I want my music to be the same way. When you go back, you have to listen. You, even though you have fun, you might be just in your car listening to it and be like, "Hold on, what did you just say?" And then you start visualizing what I'm saying and everything. And that's what I really try to do. There's a lot of thought behind each line of the music, even though he's on a fun record. There's still a lot of thought behind each each line. Crazy thing I said on the record. Oh, shit, man. I said a lot of crazy shit now. I'm talking about from eating ass to uh <laughs> to seeing somebody get shot before in front of my eyes. I mean like I done said some crazy things before. Um how I was laid up with my side chick well my main chick is calling me. I d I done I mean, depends on what your level of crazy I and mean, we said a lot of the crazy stuff on record. So my writing process is really based on at uh, first I get the beat. I might ride around to the beat, like literally get in my truck, ride around the city, vibe out. Or I might be sitting at home playing video games, maybe playing a little 2K, a little GTA, just letting it build. And sometimes a hook come to me first, or, or a pattern of how the hook's supposed to be, or a pattern of the verses. I start mumbling to myself, like getting it, trying to get the pattern of how I wanna, how I wanna rap. And then once I get the concept, it's pretty easy from there because I'm pulling from like real life experiences. Uh, favorite memories, man. Uh, really, my first performance years ago. When I did that, I liked the feeling behind it and stuff like that. You, you, it's almost hypnotizing. Like you got their attention and they watching you and stuff. I can't wait till I get to the point that they know the words and they saying it back and stuff. I can't wait to get to that point. New project coming soon. Uh, very, very soon, very, very, very soon. Volume one, Life Testaments. Um, actually, we we in the last 5% of it. Follow me on social media, at Scooter Boo Maxwell, everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, wherever else, Tumblr, wherever else they pull it up at. Spotify, Tinder, <laughs> not Tinder, <only. laughs> Tidal. <laughs> Can't stop.